Hey, my name is Mia Rai, and I'm a lawyer for Edward Ashburnham. The state of New York is accusing Leonora Ashburnham for manslaughter in the first degree of her husband, Edward Ashburnham, who committed suicide. Um, the defendant caused extreme emotional disturbance to the plaintiff, which led to the plaintiff to com um, commit suicide. After nine years of marriage with her husband, Leonora pressured the love of Ash Edward Ashburnham Ashburnham's life to not love him, which made them move further away from her husband. Leonora Ashburnham had intent to cause the death of another person. Leonora made the love of Edward's wife, Nancy, hate him so, so much, which led to her leaving Edward. In page four, in, in part four, page 165, I wish to God that your husband and was not mine. We shall be ruined, we shall be ruined. Am I never to have a chance? And suddenly, Leonora burst into a passion of tears. She pushed herself up from the pillows with one elbow and sat there, crying, 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 with her face hidden in her hands, the tears falling through her fingers. The girl flushed, stammered, and whimpered as she had never if she had been personally insulted. But if Uncle Edward, she began, that man said led Leonora with an extraordinary bitterness, would give the shirt off his back and off his mind and yours to any. She could not finish the sentence. Leonora is clearly trying to manipulate Nancy so that Nancy would hate Edward and change her feelings toward Edward. Um, okay, and the next one is, <laughs> you must save Edward's life, you must save his life. All that he needs is a little period of satisfaction from you, and he will tire of you as he has of others, but you must save his life. Leonardo says this to Nancy, uh, and Leonardo, Leonardo says this and has Nancy wants to become further away and further associated with Edward. By becoming further away from Nancy, it would make it into an environment that Edward would not want to live in because of because the love of his life is not present during. In New York State Law, under Article 125.220, with intent to cause the death of another person, he causes the death of such person of a third person under circumstances which do not constitute murder because he acts under the influence of extreme emotion disturbance. Good afternoon. My name is Enzo Sakai. And I am proud to represent my client, Leonora Ashburnham. The defendant, Leonora Ashburnham, is falsely accused of manslaughter in the, sec uh, in the first degree. You have been given several claims by the prosecutor, Mira Rai, but she has not sufficiently supported the claims with relevant evidence to, uh, to the specific crime. At the end of the case, I will ask for a ruling of the innocence of Leonora Ashburnham. On page 170 in the novel, Leonora Ashburnham states, You must stay here. You must stay here. I tell you, you must stay here. This shows Leonora's urge to prohibit Nancy from leaving Edward Ashburnham. Leonora knows that Nancy's presence is keeping her husband alive. The fact that she is willing to keep Nancy near Edward is quite evident that Leonora is sacrificing her emotions for the life of her husband. If Leonora had the desire to kill Edward, she would have let Nancy go to Glasgow and would not have had to endure an awful amount of stress. On page 179, with similar, Leonora states, You must stay here. You must belong to Edward. I will divorce him. This is a clear representation of sacrifice. As a small child, Leonora was raised in a convent where Catholicism took over every aspect of her life. She grew up, grew up learning the importance of Catholicism and had pride in it. She was insulted when Florence made fun of Irish, Irish Catholics in the city of Ben. In Catholicism, it is gravely simple to divorce. Knowing that divorcing is a sin, serious sin, Leonora urges Nancy to stay in order to prevent Edward's death. On page 188, John Dowell explains that Leonora had told Nancy about the agonies that she had endured during her life with a man who was violent, overbearing, vain, drunken, arrogant, and monstrously a prey for his sexual necessities. This seems as if Leonora is trying to get Nancy to stop loving Edward. However, if one was in the shoes of Leonora, it would be impossible to suppress the emotions towards the countless amounts of nefarious acts made by Edward Ashburn. It is also known that Leonora had no one else to talk to you besides Nancy. I think of the conversation between Leonora and Nancy as no other than 
a girl's talk. According to the novel, there's only evidence of the possibility of Leonore's aid towards Edward Ashburnham's death. In the New York State Law, under Article 125.20, it states, with intent to cause serious physical injury to another person, he causes the death of such person or of a third person. This means that Leonora Ashburnham has had to make a good environment for Edward's suicide. There have been no evidence of Leonora handing Edward Ashburnham a dangerous object that would have possibly killed him. Also, because Leonora is trying to prevent Nancy from leaving, it can be seen that she tried to prevent Edward's suicide. In Article 125.15, for a manslaughter in the second degree, it states, he intentionally causes or aids another person to commit suicide. The evidence the prosecutor, me or I, have presented us is only applicable to manslaughter in the second degree. The state has not sufficiently proven the case, and therefore my client, Leonora Ashburnham, and I will ask for the verdict of non-not guilty. The defendant, after her husband's death, remarries very quickly and becomes pregnant with the child. In the page 118, this is after a nine-year marriage with her husband, and if she were attached to Edward emotionally, she would not be able to marry so quickly. Because Leonora Ashburnham was not emotionally attached to her husband, she would have motives to want to kill her husband. The defendant seems weak. The defendant, Leonora Ashburnham, also seems very happy after Nancy leaves, even though her words that she had said to the girl were against her leaving. She had co clearly worked hard to make Nancy want to move far away from Edward as much as possible. This can be seen in page 195 when Leo Leonora went about her daily duties with a sort of triumphant smile, smile. A very faint smile, but quite triumphant. I guess she had so long since given up any idea of getting her man back that it was enough for her to have to go to have got the girl out of the house and well cursed for her infatuation. If the words that Leonora were true to Nancy, Leonora would be as devastated as Edward, knowing that the child she had raised was going to leave her. But to her, Nancy had only been a competition and that, and that she would be able to keep her eyes on her husband. Also, when Leonora heard, oh no, wait. Also, as Enzo said earlier, Leonora was going, even, uh, was going to break her own religion that Nancy, so that Nancy could marry Edward Ashburnham. She says the words that she spoke of the agonies that she had endured during her life with the man who was violent, overbearing, vain, dr drunken, arrogant, and monstrously afraid to expect enough of me. However, if she were trying to have Nancy stay in her own home, she would never want to say those kinds of words that would want her to move farther, further away from her husband. Leonora clearly knows that by saying, this, by saying these kinds of words to her, Nancy would not want to be with Edward, and so that it would be a better environment for Edward to want to kill himself. Um, Um, and also in the next scene, because Nancy had heard these words coming from Leonora, she says to Edward, I can never love you, now I know the kind of man you are. I will belong to you to save you, but I can never love you. These words said by Nancy, but, um, were said by Nancy, but the real person behind the words were Leonora. She had done everything so that Nancy would not be able to love Edward anymore and want to leave him. This, this scene shows that Leonora's motive because she is trying to make a situation that Edward, who is currently mentally unstable because he feels guilt in being in love with the child that he raised for so many years, so that he would become even more mentally unstable and because of her leaving would make Edward depressed and even suicidal. And finally, when Leonora heard the news that Edward had killed himself, she was quite pleased with it. Leonora was still married to Edward when this had happened and, she, and, and the words that and normally anyone in Leonora's position would be devastated that her own husband had killed himself. This shows that she had motives to want to kill her husband as well. The evidence the prosecutor, me or I, has shown us is what Leonora may have thought of doing. And in the same way I can say that, uh, the example you have, you have given us when Leonora was talking to Nancy about the bad things that Edward has been doing, I can counter argue counter argue that with um, Leonora's emotion with distress and how, he, how she was stressed with all the uh, affairs going on and she just wanted to let go. It could go for both ways, but you have not sufficiently proven 
that Leonora directly um, made a, an environment for Edward to commit suicide when she was clinging on to Nancy, telling her, don't, don't go, you must stay here for over countless times, for over five times throughout the novel, she had said that. So, um, again, the uh, prosecutor has, uh, has not sufficiently proven the case, and therefore, uh, her evidence is not applicable for this uh, case, uh, manslaughter in the first degree.